Hello, sweet souls. Happy Friday. It is January 12th. This is going to be your angel uh, message reading. We're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will, your thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. All right, guys. So I'm going to read these cards intuitively. This is the Healing Energy Oracle. There's a lot of writing on them, but I want, I was called to read them intuitively. Now that you've stepped into this new energy that you're in, you're co-creating with the universe. Balance and harmony is being restored in your life because of your faith. Your faith set you free. You trusted. You trusted in the enlightenment that God was giving you. You saw the inner beauty. You saw that light comes from within. You embrace the, your divine light and you recognize that you carry this divine light. I am the light. You're now listening to the voice of your heart, which is your intuition. And you know that it's one step at a time. You know that it takes time and that things will unfold when it's meant to. Divine timing is at play for sure. So let's pull from the angels and ancestors. Truth and only truth for the collective. What do they need to be aware of, please? Trust and thrive. You are trusting in the process. You know that you're in the process of shedding your old skin, releasing people, places, or things that no longer serve you. You're choosing a new path and you're taking charge with authority because of this divine enlightenment that you have received. You have confidence, faith, and God. You're going to enjoy growth and reap rewards because of your faith. You are taking note of your intuitive messages. You're trusting in that inner voice. That light within and you're making plans and focusing on the future you're not focused on past events karmic cycles you're not focused on anyone else's life you're only focused on you and that's what god wants yeah you're a high priestess you're harnessing your mystic powers you are embracing your spiritual gifts you look at it as a blessing and not a curse oops hold on a second guys Yeah, because you trusted in God. You trusted in God. Yeah, heart guardian, you've opened yourself up. You've, you're coming from a space of love because now you recognize through this divine wisdom and enlightenment that you've received that it's only through the energy of love that you can create the life that you desire. Our ancestor following the voice of your soul that's what we just said you're definitely following your intuition now that connection with god you take time to reflect on everything you don't take rash decisions you embrace the energy of peace anything that doesn't bring you peace you let it go you don't engage in it you're not going to you're not willing to it was too hard for you to get in the energy of peace trust in your talents and changing times you trust in your talents you trust in divine wisdom you trust in your intuition. You know that is your special connection with God. Yeah, God is unveiling and unlocking the magic within you. Because you're exchanging energy to create abundance in your life. You're dreaming big and you're on a new journey, which is amazing. So let's get advice. Let's get some advice. Truth and only truth for the collective. What does the collective need to be aware of, please? Be, feel, receive abundance. All that you desire is achievable. See with your heart. The time is now to hear the messages. So once you connect with your heart space and your inner light, that connection with God, you are able to tap in. You were able, once you elevated in this divine love energy, you were able to tap in with the divine. Remember that love is the key. Love what you have in your life right now. And they said, dream big and dream with your heart. Dream in that high vibration of love energy manifest and then we got let it out let it flow open the heart to feel you have so much coming in because of that love energy that they want you to embrace it embrace the intuitive downloads inspired action let love be your guide love the lo love a life live a life from love guided by love whoops sorry guys i got one on the floor Yeah, you learned how to spend time on you to balance yourself out. You learned that you needed to pour into yourself 
that over giving or giving to relationships that was unequal in nature did not bring you anything, no satisfaction, no emotional fulfillment, no blessings in your life. So you learn that lesson. And then it says, now you're following the path of another. Your path is being redirected to where it should be. And it's time for you to walk your own journey. It's essential to stay on your own path. The path no longer holds power over you because you're too high vibrational. You've learned the lesson. So you're too high vibrational. Okay, let's get from this deck. Truth and only truth for the collective. What does the collective need to be aware of? Truth and only truth for the collective. First card out, new chapter. That's today the theme is new, new life, new chapter, new beginning, shrouded in light. You've done the work and this was based on a past choice. Uh, yeah, and because of this, you know, you have connected with your intuition, with your emotion, with your heart space, and you have released what doesn't serve you. You are walking your truth. You are a free spirit and you've always been a free spirit. You always thought, acted, moved differently and that's why you never fit in because you're not for everyone. Yeah, transformation is coming in and that was in part one and it's bringing in balance and a lot of communication from the divine. You're gonna be celebrating. Again, card number six, this is from a past choice. Yeah, you may have been in a timeout right now to, to find your self-worth, to really know your value and worth, but that's about to change. You're about to move forward because you've surrendered. You've learned how to exist in the 3D and operate in the 5D to trust in God. Yeah, it was based on a choice. Now, since you've made this choice to choose you, to choose that connection with the divine, you're on a sacred journey. You're being enlightened. Your compassion, your love has allowed you to let go of what doesn't serve you. And now you operate in unconditional love and you're calling in unconditional love in many forms in your life. You're meant to shine. You're connected with the divine. Cosmic connection. You will also call in a partner that is just as divine as you. One that will be in complete alignment with you. We're gonna use the Alchemy Rising and I'm also gonna pull from my deck as well. If you want the Alchemy Rising 888 deck, you can find her deck on Etsy. All right, what is the current energy of the collective, please? Current energy of the collective. You're in the energy of manifesting with attraction. You have endurance. You haven't given up. You keep pushing forward. No matter what obstacles are sent your way, you have too much faith and too much connection with God to give up. Yeah, you're calling in a fortune. You're in the frequency to be able to call in this fortune. You're divine femme and you're very grounded. Yeah, look at this. You've been adaptable to change. And you're a dreamer. You went through a lot of stressful situations and now justice is coming in. The gateway is open for you because of your enlightenment. Couple more. Yeah, they said remain focused because you are a warrior. Contemplation, you no longer take anything for. Um, if someone says X, Y, Z to you, you, you listen to what they're saying, but you don't take it for, for facts. You contemplate on everything now. You don't trust the words anymore. Yeah, you've been through these cycles before. And you're just now remembering. Yeah, you analyze everything. And you also make nurturing yourself a priority. Putting yourself first. That's why change is coming in. There's a dragonfly here. Change is coming in. We just got a whole bunch. Let's see. Yeah, you're mindful. You, you make decisions from a space of love and spirituality with your connection to God. You have so much faith. You're connected to your intuition. You are the Phoenix rising. You tap into higher vibrational energies and you operate from a space of love and that's why you don't worry. You just breathe, you relax. You operate from a space of humility, which is beautiful. All right, let's see what else is in the energy. Anything we need to be aware of. We know karmics are always, ooh, my car just went flying. As I mentioned the karmic, the cards just flew on the floor. Um, the karmic energies are just green with envy. They're so angry. They're so bitter because in their delusional mind, it would have worked out perfect. They would have been happy, wealthy, doing amazing, 
and you would have been destroyed. God doesn't work that way. And they're figuring that out. Okay, for the collective. Yeah, you are receiving too many downloads, visions. You have clarity because God's giving you the clarity on it. anything these people are trying to send to you. It's going back to them because you know what to do. That's justice. Justice is being served. Those scales are being balanced in your favor. Yeah, because you have this beautiful connection with your spirit guides, the angels and saints. Yeah, this player couldn't take you down. You have happiness, joy, emotional fulfillment. It's beautiful. This player is only gaining health issues by constantly operating in this dark energy. You know, here's one thing I can tell you. Have you ever known someone to be very dark, very toxic, and then you haven't seen them in a while, and then you see them again, and they look like they've aged 20 years? Eventually, that darkness within bleeds on the outside, and it also manifests in the way of health issues. It can be heart, it can be gut, it can be uh, numerous things. And there's a timing of the near future. You are very connected with the divine. Truth and only truth for the collective. Continue to pray more. Someone is going through the dark night of the soul and it is not the collective. You guys are too tapped in, too enlightened. You have spiritual gifts. You're very connected. And this ego death and dark night of the soul is the player. They are dealing with their karma now is what I'm getting. Because victory is yours. This person had, whoops, it's upside down. This person had childhood trauma and instead of dealing with their wounds, they bled their wounds on everyone else. They wore a mask in the 3D realm. They operate from a space of ego and they lied, cheated, stole. They did all of these toxic, evil things. They went into karmic connections with a false feminine. Could be a fire sign. They tried to outcast you and now they want to reconcile. You're already gone. Taking a trip, you have gone. You have left the building. This person is a social media stalker. They have a toxic work environment and they're a spiritual hater. You have protection also by your ancestors. And a tower moment is coming for these people. You're manifesting the life that you desire. And these people will have not only STDs, but legal issues. This is God's wrath because they came against an earth angel who is worthy of every blessing that's coming in. I see a divine connection and angelic protection here. Make sure when these dark energies come to your mind, you cast them out. You reject, you rebuke them, and you send them away. Make sure you are you know, controlling your thoughts and redirecting them to positive thoughts, okay? All right, let's see. What else? What else do we need to know? Holy Spirit, what else? Okay, they want me to use this deck. Now, this deck is a great deck, this Intuit deck. I love it. You can find it on Etsy. However, it's um, it's more for somebody that's just learning because it's got the writing on it. I don't need the writing. I don't like to read the stuff off the cards because I'm an intuitive reader. So I, I don't read that way, but I do love the deck. So anything else the collective needs to be aware of? <sighs> yeah, so there was a lot of lies, deception being spread about you, but you're unbothered and unconcerned because you're focused on manifesting the life that you desire. There's a timing on the card of one month. Anything else for the collective? Yeah, this is someone that was you released from the past that has tried to do everything in their power to stop, block, destroy you. It does. It's not working. Big changes are coming um, from now into the next six months. Big changes. And I do see divine love coming in. This can also, if you're already in a love union, can represent a contract, a partnership in some way. Yeah, it's definitely four wands bringing in a lot of stability. Like I said, for many of you, this is love. This is divine union that's coming in. Wow. <laughs> Seven of Swords in reverse. This is someone that's getting caught. They're being exposed. Whoever posts you, they are going to be exposed to the world. And then we got the world, your success. This leads to your success. That's amazing. Anything else? Seven of Wands, because you are setting boundaries, you are fighting for what you want, and God is protecting you. The eagle is divine wisdom. The star, because you're the star. You are you are an energy that carries the light of God. You are a healer. 
and you have too much faith for lower vibrational energies to affect you. You just don't. You're embracing this new beginning and you've already healed. You have released what doesn't serve you and you have healed, which is beautiful and amazing. Justice on the bottom of the deck. Your justice you are receiving, which is beautiful. 1515 15 on my clock. I don't know if that means anything to anyone. It reduces to sixes. And also, if you combine it and further reduce it, it will reduce to a three, which is divine intervention. The ascended masters. Okay. That's awesome. It's beautiful. Um, I do want to see for those of you that are interested, what this person that is continuing to come after you, what do they want to say to you if they could say it? I know we really don't care, but they obviously want to say something because they're constantly in the reading. So uh, what does this karmic energy want to say to the collective? I want to tell you how I feel. I left you before you could leave me. This person's delusional. That was in their head. I lost myself for a little while. We need to let each other go. That's you. You don't want to be with this person. I love you unconditionally. This person can't get over what real love is. They don't know what real love is. It was my fault, but I blamed you. They spread so many lies to protect their own butt. They didn't want people to know the truth of the evil that they had done. But it's going to be revealed anyway. They can't stop it. it says, I couldn't let you get close to me. And I remember every detail of that day. They're being haunted by the memories. I wonder if you're happy without me. I don't know why they would even wonder that. Because why, how could anyone be happy with someone that would cheat, lie, steal, stab them in the back, throw them under the bus, spread lies? How could you be happy with someone like that? So many things remind me of you. And I'm afraid to contact you. I'm sure they are. This is someone that does not speak the truth. They are not accountable. They should be afraid. Very afraid. They're dealing with their karma now. Um, let's see. Is there anything else? Let's do the angel answers, guys. Think of a yes or no question, and we'll see if we get an answer. Uh, all these cards on the on the floor. All right. Truth and only truth is a collective. What does the collective need to be aware of? Truth and only truth for the collective. And if they have a yes or no question, please answer their yes or no question. Truth and only truth for the collective. Truth and only truth for the collective. They said stay in a positive mindset. Make sure you are having positive thoughts. You're putting out positive energy because big happy changes are coming your way. The answer to your question is yes. That was the bottom of the deck. Anything else, Spirit? Abundance. Abundance is headed your way. Continue to meditate. It's going to give you clarity, okay? Truth and only truth for the collective. They said worry will only lower your vibration, so stop. You know, you will know when you need to take action. They're going to give you a sign, okay? They said it's not the right time because divine timing is at play. You don't have to chase this opportunity or inspired action. It will come to you. There's something better. Um, they want you to reconsider taking back anyone from the past. Look, there's something better, romance and reconsider. If a past person wants to reconcile, the answer is no. They're saying just forgive and release them with love and compassion and be patient because something better is coming in. That's beautiful and I love it. And you deserve it. You deserve divine love. You don't deserve to be in a relationship where you don't trust. If anyone, anyone has thrown you under the bus, lied, cheated, stole, spread rumors, cyber stalked you, bullied you, stole from you, whatever. That person has to go. They cannot come back into your life. You will be affected by their karma. And I say it all the time and it is true. You need to really um, focus on the facts, you know. Of course, they're going to come in and say all the right things. They're going to they're gonna say it was a misunderstanding, that they didn't do anything, that they defended you. They're full of crap. That's a lie. It's a lie. You know the truth. Anything else for the collective? It says the cosmos, creativity and vastness. Yeah, your creative juices are flowing now. Now that you're in a high vibration and you've released negativity. We got... The resting tree, patience and stillness. You are learning to be patient with the universe. Sisters of the season, cycle of growth, natural law and divine order. 
that's justice. That's justice. You're growing and the universe is balancing the scales, bringing in divine order. 2002 on my clock. The Eagle King, the big picture, angelic help. Now you have divine assistance. All right, let's see, get one more. The Winged Wise One, angelic help again, miraculous aid. Two cards of angelic help coming to you. You've been able to reflect and you're not judgmental. You're not placing judgment. You know that anyone who has done horrible, evil things, that they are accountable and answer to God and God alone. You know that God's going to take care of it. You're authentic. You're in your purpose and you're inspiring others. And you chose through free will to, to step into your divine energy and to follow that, that destined path for you. So that's beautiful. All right, guys, I love you. I hope that you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.